Michelle Quick seriously motivates me. Look at this gorgeous woman right here. Right. She's all about high chairs to high heels. Talk about being a woman in the modern world. How are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you guys? Oh, we're fantastic. excited to have you back. I'm excited to be here. So tell us everything. You know, WAGS, what have you been up to? Life After WAGS has been ridiculously crazy. I'm a mom of two and a wife. I have a lot of hats that I'm juggling, currently working on a lash line, which went live this morning. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you. I've been, it's like another baby, just trying to get the right product. Um, I've also teamed up with Sheer Bags, which is a company that is doing NFL um, NFL bags. You know, they have a new rule where, at the stadium where you can't just bring in any bag. So I've been basically nurturing those two babies right now, trying to put my little twist in everything as long. And then I'm also doing my blogging and my kids got, getting into modeling. I'm just trying to take it one day at a time. So is this one of the sheer that. bags? This is. So this so is cute. the Michelle Quick. This is my signature color, pink. Okay. Love it. Love pink. Um, we're actually getting ready to do pre-orders this week. This is stadium approved, which means you can take it into all stadiums for football games and for concerts. Um, we did this cute little pouch, you know, because as women, we have a lot of stuff that we don't want. This is the dimension. This is basically how big your bag could be when you go into the stadium what? if it's not a clear bag. For your secret supplies. For my secret supplies right now, I have my lashes in here. Oh, let's um, see. So this is my I love the my container, oh, yeah. by the way. That's Thank really you guys. cute. I tried to stay within the pink. My husband, my kids are like, we're so tired of pink. I'm like, no, pink <laughs> makes everything prettier. It's on brand. Yeah, so, um, you know, these are just the two things that I have been working on day and night, trying to make perfect, trying to make it me and trying to give you know the consumers things that they love and that are good quality so let's talk about um something you live by which is walk by faith and not by sight it's on your bio Wh is. what does that mean for you well for me is i can't do anything without god first and foremost you know I, we always have plans and things don't always go as planned you know god always has a plan so you know i walk within my faith and everything else just falls together and even if it falls apart it falls apart to fall together in a different way mm -hmm. you know so i just put i just center everything my family my goals into god and i thank him and into my religion i'm christian um and you know and just base it around my religion and just keep going if things don't go the way that i want to i am always like you know god has a different plan for me and i try mm -hmm. to to follow my calling and you know follow his plan i love yeah. that when did you commit to living by or walking by faith and not by sight? Do you remember the moment or the day or? Well, I've always grown up in the Christian world. Um, I was baptized at a young age, um, but I think it came more, I, what's the word? I think I've been more committed uh, since I've had my children, you know, because there's so many life, there's so many unexpected life moments that I don't have the answers to, and I don't know why it happens. And I'm kind of, you know, following my own preach, I, what I preach to my kids. I've been following what I preach, and I'm like, you know, kids, we have to really follow by faith, not by what you see. Mm -hmm. And that's just how it's all been helping me get through everything. You know, football world is unexpected. The life, everyday life, <laughs> even not, you know, not football, just everything in life, it never goes the way that you want it to be. But, you know, you always have to have faith and give your kids that there's always hope and, you know, there's there's a higher being. Well, and you're living as an incredible example of that. I mean, not only are you an, a great wife and a great mother, but you're a mogul mm -hmm. as well. And I love that you're really just kind of pioneering in that. Absolutely. And they say one door, if one door closes, another one opens. And that's happened to me. It's, it's been months and years that I've been trying to find the, light, the right lash place or the right bad company to work with and there's times that i wanted to give up but you know one door closes and i stay within my faith and another one opens and i'm really happy with the with where my life is going right now and i'm excited to show my kids just keep going and just kids in general you know i love children i just love to inspire people that if it's not working for you just keep pushing and keep going and it's eventually going to work for you and you're going to find your calling of what works for you faith and resilience is a very powerful message living especially when it comes to applying those the lashes <laughs> 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 that was a struggle yeah. okay <laughs> the 
biggest what, struggle what the is biggest real. biggest struggles. Yes, <laughs> yeah. absolutely. Or finding a clear bag that's cute, right? Mm-hmm. Living within the rules, but still maintaining your own fashion. Yourself. Like yeah. explore. As women, like we're lucky, you know, men, yeah. you know, yeah. you guys are cute and all. So <laughs> women, we get to play with so much yeah. accessories and makeup. And I just love it. Like we can all express ourselves. And one, if one day we wake up and we want to be, we're going to church, you know, I have a smaller lash for church. <laughs> you know, and if one day I'm going to an event, I have a huge, you know, this is a bigger lash. This is my la-la lash, you know, uh, <laughs> la-la lash. So there's different things. I'm like, it's just so fun to be yourself and be a woman. I do have a question for you, though. And all honestly, has that ever been hard for you with, you know, your husband is obviously a famous football player. He's in the NFL. So to really stand in your own light and make that shine, has that been difficult? It has been. And I feel like I'm at that transition right now where he, this is his eighth year in the NFL. So it's been his career, his career, his mm-hmm. career. And now he's like, oh, it's, it's been a good ride. And, you know, I've been there and he looks at me and he's like, tag, you're in, you know, like, <laughs> what do you want to do? And I'm like, oh, my God, no, I'm so much on you. <laughs> And it's like, okay, take one step at a time because I'm just like constantly, oh, this and that. Like, how can I help or how can I better myself? How can I better my family? How can I better the world? And, you know, everyone's like, choose one thing that you want to focus on. I'm like, no, like, we're women. We are super (laughs) women. We have a case. Like, we can do do this. We are doing it all. And every day I wake up and I'm just like, I'm going to take that one step towards reaching another goal. You know, today I might work on a bag. Tomorrow I may work on a lash. But it's everything that that I love that defines me as a as a whole. I'm so Aww. grateful that he's so supportive in that. Thank he's you. Nice. Yes, <laughs> I'm very grateful yeah. to him. I'm like, you were such a good husband. He Aww. sounds amazing, truly. He sounds amazing. Yeah. I mean, I put in a lot of work, too. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm a cheerleader, I'm a chef, I'm a cook, I do the dry cleaning, yeah. you name it. Yeah, yeah. 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 I, yeah. Assistant, assistant. I do the dry cleaning. Everything. I need to drop that stuff off. <laughs> I do. And I, it's so funny. I was I was ironing this yesterday, not, and I don't usually use the iron. You know, you use steamers now. My husband's like, you have too much water in the iron. And I'm like, I don't know how to do this. I'm like, there goes my career in dry cleaning. <laughs> like, I could never work in a dry cleaner. I used to mess with the laundry just so I'd be like, I just can't do it. You know? <laughs> I'm shrinking your clothes. I don't know. <laughs> I love that. So tell people where they can find your and follow your personal journey. You guys can find me at Miss Michelle, MS underscore Michelle on Instagram. And all of my handles are there for uh, my lash website, the bags, and my personal blog, High Chairs to High Heels. Fantastic. Thank Thank you so so much. much. Stay tuned. We're back with more in Good Morning Wildland.